Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to look at Twisby pins and then specifically in combination with Faber-Castell nibs. Um, someone asked me on Instagram, I don't remember who, to show the nib switch that I sometimes do. Um, so I'm gonna do that on camera. Um, I'm not gonna ink any of these pens. I'm just gonna show you how to switch the nibs and hopefully it'll be sh short and sweet and we can do that really quickly. All right, let's switch a shot and go look at them. Okay, I have three different pens here, um, mainly because um, I wanna show you that this trick works with a 580 and not with a 580 ALR. Um, so I have a Faber-Castell here. Um, with the Faber-Castell, this is the loom, you can unscrew the nib unit from the pen, so the whole unit, not just the nib. Finger underneath the unit is what I would do. Thumb over the feed so you don't wiggle the nib and then just turn the body so you take it out. Sometimes they can be a little stuck, um, but that's for you to calmly and pol politely maneuver. Not politely, but with grace and not with violence. So that's a nib unit. So if you have a 580, you should be able to just take out this whole section thingy. So you just have the barrel right here and then pull these off. So the silvery bit needs to go off and the grip, I'm checking this pen is really dirty still, I don't know. Well, ink was in here, but it's gross. Anyway, this ink, this nib unit from the Twisby actually has an O-ring that's supposed to be here. I think I've switched this before, so this O-ring just slipped down. Um, but generally there's an O-ring at this ridge, right? Twisby does not have that. Uh, the Faber-Castell does not have that, excuse me. So normally what I do is also move the O-ring from the Twisby to the Faber-Castell. Um, right now I'm gonna try it without um, because honestly I'm not gonna use the pens in this video. I'm just showing you the nib switch. Okay, so two nib units. And then you slide the silvery bit back on, but now you do it on the Faber-Castell nib, grip back on, and then the barrel, you screw it all in, and you have a Twisby with a Faber-Castell nib unit in there. This works with the 580 and the loom, and of course the basic, the, the, the general uh, cheaper Faber-Castell nibs are all the same. They're the steel nib. They're great. Um, I just tried this with the 580 ALR. I'm gonna try again. I couldn't get it to work, um, but let's just try again. So unscrew the whole thing. Take off the silvery bit. Do the same for the ALR and let's see if it works. Because I just, I couldn't do it just now. Um, okay, here we have the silvery. So the problem I ran into is this. So for the ALR, the silvery bit, I can't get it to go over this lip. And I don't wanna push it because I know these guys were not made to do this. Let me see if I can use the other, so the, the normal 580s silver lippy thingy if it works. I guess that works. But now I have like the a, a big Franken pen. So this part, uh, this part is from the normal 580, this is a Faber-Castell nib, and the rest is the 580 ALR. Um, but the, where is it? Here. This part seems to be different on the 580 ALR. I don't know if it's just my pen. I don't have another ALR, um, so I can't really check that. Um, but yeah, it, it, this was making it impossible. However, if you have another 580, you can just do that. Um, but yeah, that is that is what I do with Twisby pens. Um, I have never uh, tried to do this with an Eco, 
Reason being is that I don't switch the nib. I switch it, I switch the whole unit. Um, I can try it. I have an eco next to me. Um, okay, I'm trying to make sense of all the parts. This is, I think, this is a great. Don't don't just do this randomly. Keep the keep your parts like kind of separate. Uh, me me me. Okay, well. Here's the cap. I'm losing everything guys. My mind, my pens, everything. Anyway, so the ALR seems to be different. I don't know if it's actually different. Oh, you can, oh, you can do this without the grippy. I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think it's gonna go well, but. All right. And that's tight. So I wonder if you can, um, you can pull out the nib from the Faber Castell unit. You can do the same for the Eco. Do you have a different Eco? I do. This is a rose gold. I don't want to take that apart. Um, there it is. This is an impromptu thing. So I'm just here grabbing. So pull out nib and feed from the Eco. That's very easy. Um, this is not as easy, but I can I can make it work as you can see. So the nib units are slightly different. So what I'm gonna try now is to put the whole unit into the eco, but I don't, yeah, that does not work. That does not fit. It's very, very loose. Um, what I can do now is try to put it on the eco feed, the Faber-Castell nib, because if it has the same shape, you can technically do this. Uh, no, there's something about the fabric of steel nibs that are thinner and looser. So it's just wobbling around right now. So it does not work with an eco. You can only do this if you switch the whole unit into the 580. And you cannot do this with an eco, alas. Now I'm stuck with all these parts, guys. Okay. Anyway, I hope this was informative. This I this was requested by someone, well, I talked about it a lot, it, but it was also requested by someone on Instagram. Um, I don't remember who asked me about it. I'm sorry, um, but I hope this was clear and that you uh, can use this information for your own benefit. Um, yeah, that's all the pins that I tried. Um, and oh, why would I do this? I like Faber-Castell nibs more than Twisby nibs. It's a very simple situation. All right. Any questions? Leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next.